What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Bank back with another tutorial. Today I'm gonna be showing y'all real quick how to just like export your NPC projects if you're on update 2.11. Now I was trying to find this everywhere and you know I kind of just got this new NPC and I've been working on it but I've been an NPC head for a while now but you know I just got the new NPC and I just downloaded the update. I finished the beat so I'm gonna play the beat for y'all for a little bit then I'm gonna show you how to uh how I export this thing real quick. I'll play the beat for a little bit so y'all can just hear it. All right, so there's the song, right? So what I like to do, so I'm gonna show y'all what I like to do real quick. So. Cause I like to like export my stems individually that way. Like my kick is on a separate track, my snare is on a separate track. And so how I do that, I usually just build out the song, you know, regular, like in my sequences and do all the mutes that I normally would and whatnot. And then I would go into song mode. So from here, I'm gonna just go into menu, go into song mode. And then I'll build out my song, right? And then I'll just convert it into a sequence when I'm done and then I'll go to that sequence right here. Um, but I like to do it this, so I do it this way, so that way I can get all my separate drums. So now, <clears throat> so now all, what you have to do is now you'll have to, well, at least for me, right? I got it set up, uh, whatever you wanna call this, your favorites or whatever. I got it set up to, you know, I customized it and I added save and a couple of these other functions on mine. You can do the same thing too. All you gotta do is hit menu, hit edit up at the top, and then you'll be able to select, you know, your different, however you want your workflow to be, you can go ahead and set that up. But so your screen is not gonna look like this. It's probably gonna be somewhere in the menu. So yeah, just hit menu, find your save wherever it's at. And then once we click that, right, we're going to be able to do a couple of things here. So we're gonna be able to save this as a project, project as, so we can rename it, key group, project effects, sample, sequence, and audio mix down, and Ableton live set. Um, so right now, I'm gonna do the audio mix down, which is basically exporting. So if you like me and couldn't find it, now you can get back to doing what you do best and making music. So, I'm just gonna hit that audio button. Now here, I'll be able to explode my tracks, right? So that's what I wanna do. I wanna explode all my tracks so I get everything on separate files. Now, I'm gonna show you something real quick. So, you can also go into song mode here. So we're just gonna go into song mode and you will be able to export from there. But as you can see, it doesn't give you the option to explode your tracks. So if you want to explode your tracks, you can go ahead and do it the way that I mentioned. And then that will allow you to export all the stems and see your favorite DAW. So you can do some light mixing or whatever, whatever. All right. You know, I hope this tutorial helped y'all. I'll try to make it as quick as possible. And let me know down below in the comment section if there's anything else that you guys have a question on that I can help y'all with. Peace.